Right, so now we're to demonstrate a level one rescue from the sender. Okay, so I'm on adjacent ropes from my he, she, it or they. Okay, so now I'm gonna ascend the ropes. I'm, I'm gonna set, choosing to ascend in my descender just because it saves, eliminates a, a changeover from ascent to descent. Okay, so I'm now, my descender is just above my casualties descender, okay? So that's an ideal position. Um, if in any doubt, always go a little bit higher rather than lower because it's easy to descend down and it is to climb back up. Okay, so I'm happy with the position I'm in. So I can remove my ascender. So I'm always going to prepare myself first before I even make contact with my casualty. My ropes, I'm going to throw my ropes out to my right hand side. So I'm going to reach across to my casualty. Okay, first things first, I'm going to remove their hand ascender. Okay. Now secondly, I'm going to use my Cow's tail, I'm going to attach it from my main D to their main D. Okay, so that's one point to my casualty. Okay, now my second point, before I left the ground, I picked up some extra carabiners. I'm going to attach that to my casualty sternum on his chest, screw that up. Now I'm going to connect that into my descender carabiner, okay? So before I left the ground, I ensured my the carabiner was um the spine of the carabiner was facing my casualty because it's the strongest part of the of the carabiner, okay? So now I'm gonna reach reach across, connect that to spine that descender carabiner, screw that gate up. Okay? Before I do anything else, I'm gonna double check. Get to check my carabiners are all screwed up, locked off. So I've now got two points to my casualty. So now with that, I'm gonna Move his back up, and I'm going to descend my casualty. So I'm side on. I'm going to remain side on until I can remove his descender. So what I've done there is I've lowered the casualty onto the hard link between me and, me and my rope access system. And my second point is my soft link, which is the, the my cow's tail. Okay. So from there, I can now remove the casualty's descender. From there, so now I'm going to do my straddle. Best bit about rope access. Okay, I can now remove his backup, their backup device. Okay, and before I descend, I've now got a two person load on this system. So I'm going to add in a friction carabiner. I'm going to add that into my carabiner on my descender, attached to my tail of my descending rope, screw that up. Now I've got to hold my hand nice and high, so, I've, so I'm using the actual friction carabiner to retrieve his to for the friction, okay? I can now descend. Back up. Nice and steady. Now I've got my casualty safe on the ground. I can step up if need be. I can now remove myself from the system. Continue with the casualty's descent. So he's safely on the ground, ready for medics. 